Welcome to the Sky Podcast. Meron din kasing ibang mom na nagagalit pag nalaman nila, oy nabuntis yung anak ko. Diba? Yeah. Did, did she act a certain way? Or derecho? Oh, okay. Uh, Come here, parang, honey. We got Yeah, this. we got you. <laughs> um, well, the funny thing is... Well, people know this naman. My mom and I have always had this, like, um, unstable-ish relationship. Like, I guess some people go through it. Like, we're not always okay. Sometimes we're okay. It's just highlighted because we're in the limelight, I guess. But... Um, when I told her that I was pregnant, we were, I'm, I'm not sure if we were okay, but yeah, when I told her, she, she was just, actually it's funny because, sorry, <laughs> ang gulo ng kwento ko, pero, <laughs> Go lang. Uh, it, was, Go lang. It, it was via video call mm. lang. Oh, video call. Yeah, I was supposed to tell her in person, but because of the pandemic, um, it was locked down. I couldn't leave the house, so I had to call her. I was so nervous. <laughs> I had to call her via video call. Yeah, and she was poker face lang. Like when I told her, Mama, um, I need to tell you something, ganyan. And then she was like, what, you're pregnant? Yes. Oh! <laughs> it was so scary. Um, she I, guessed, wow! No, I think she found out because of, like, I think may kumalat. Ah. The annoying thing is... Before I was able to tell her, because I told her I was four months now, because I was really nervous about it. I didn't tell her agad. Mm, I was super yeah. nervous. I already had my checkup. Um, when I went to the hospital, one of the interns, like, spread the news. Oh my gosh. So, it was kind of scary, but... Diba may mga dapat confidentiality? Yes, exactly. It, it was such a... I was so pissed, honestly, because these are things that you would want to tell like, your family members personally. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But telling your mom through video call, parang, I know you must have felt so nervous, so scared, pero parang, it's kind of also helpful na hanggang video call lang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yung reaction niya, may isang level. Of <laughs> There's a barrier. <laughs> There's a barrier, exactly. <laughs> she can't throw anything at you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Eventually naman, like, we ended the call, she was still poker face, but eventually she was, she started, like, buying stuff for me. She was like, oh, you you want this? It's a pre- uh, maternity um, leggings, blah, blah, blah. So, like, okay, she's accepting it. Parang so it took cute. a while lang for it to sink in, right. siguro, no? Yeah. When you found out about it, like, parang, when you found out you were pregnant, what did you feel? Like, you were scared or paano? Um, well, it was magical, eh. It, people would think that I would I was super duper scared. But the first thing I felt was joy. We were in Boracay um, kasi. I, we were on vacation lang. Like, it was like a... a what do you call that? Oh my god, I forgot the word. It was a spontaneous trip. We just went to Boracay <laughs> out of nowhere. Me, Marcus, his manager, Kuya Alan, and a friend of theirs, who's now my friend. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We were in Boracay, and I, I knew, like, just a few days before that, I started to feel different. I peed so much. Um, I felt more emotional. There are certain things that I didn't want to smell, mm-hmm. so I was like, oh, no. Um, I think I have to take the test. And so I took it in Boracay. Okay. Uh, we asked our friend to buy the test for us, because obviously people are going to know if we bought it ourselves. So we asked our <laughs> friend to buy for us and took the test, and... They were both positive, so mm. I was I couldn't stop smiling. Even when I showed Aww. Marcus the the result, nice. He was like, so "What are we gonna do?" <laughs> <laughs> like it was a happy moment. The fear, fear was there, but it wasn't overpowering. It's more more of joy. Oh, that's so special. Uh, that's good. That's yeah. So How has your relationship with Marcus? changed or progressed or like i mean h- how is it now after you've had a kid i'm so curious to know because later and i like nagbago yung buhay namin <laughs> when we had a kid like even your relationship like, uh, <laughs> well, <kidding. laughs> well paano ba? marcus and i i think paano ba? 
Ano nga ba nagbago? I've never thought about this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Baka wala nagbago. Yeah. Well, of course, now, siguro our priorities lang. Siyempre, our priorities lang changed. Um, we're still the same, eh. Naglolokolokohan lang kami dito sa bahay. Um, but at the same time, I, th- I feel like it made us more responsible. Like, um, we know our priorities now, and we we have a routine. Mm. Before, kasi, like, our, our routine was unheard of. Like, we would sleep whatever time we wanted. Um, we would. Oh, let's go out. Let's 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 have like a mid- midnight snack somewhere. Blah blah blah. But now it's like we gotta be in bed by eight p.m. But, <laughs> yeah. So that's a change. That's it. But basically, yeah, it's still the same. super late, super late. How how did our relationship change, love? Feeling ko mas nagmature. I think it's more mature now and mo- a little less carefree because we have responsibilities. Dati kasi, nagta-travel lang kami anywhere we want to go. Yeah, like, okay, we see somebody parasailing, let's try it. Oh. Yeah. Tapos ngayon, parang, oh, what would happen to Scott if pupunta tayo sa beach? Or, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Parang a lot of things to think about now. No? Yes. And yeah. Scott takes a lot of our time also, especially Chris's time. Yeah, because, dude, mom guilt for me is so real. Like, I super relate to you. Yes. Scotty has two nannies now, but... I'm still the queen nanny. <laughs> They're still so, my nannies are still super chill because I'm still like super hands on. I don't know. I can't let go. I guess later keeps telling me to let go, but I, I really can't. And I feel like that's taken a toll on our relationship because whereas do you have to let go? <laughs> Slater keeps telling me you have to let go. You yeah. need time for yourself, and I think also he he wants time for us again. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like, yes, I say that <laughs> kasi it's one hundred percent your attention niya sa akin. Yeah. Ngayon mga nasa ten percent na lang siguro. Yeah, he only gets my attention when Pag Scott is asleep. <laughs> and if I'm not tired, if I'm tired. I'm sleeping. So. <laughs> what time do you sleep? But it's okay. I understand that. It's part of it talaga. Well, when Scotty was younger... Oh, yeah. We slept we so slept early. We slept at like 8 p.m. Like similar to you. Yeah. But now, he, he sleeps through the night now. I think starting when he was six months, he slept through the night now. So mm. then we can like do podcasts. We can actually watch TV. Oh, my gosh. That's <laughs> such a big like thing. Through the night? Uh-oh. As in like, what time does he sleep and what time what? does he wake up? Um, 6.30 to 6.30. 12 hours. What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually... Amazing, no? We, we got a sleep trainer. Um, and it really changed our lives. I'm thinking of getting one. Like, how did it change your life? Like, what did it do? I can... I, I'm, I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a walking zombie. And now I can actually, like... Pee and poo and shower and do things. Yeah, mas may schedule lang yung sleep. Was it hard to put Scotty to sleep before? Yeah, um, oh, I think Scotty has always been a very happy, chill child. But the only problem we've ever had with him is sleep. Like mm. he always had trouble sleeping. We'd have to carry him twenty four seven. Like the moment he we put him down on any surface, bed, crib, anything, he'd wake up and he'd cry. Yes. Oh, so sure. the whole time, day and night. We were carrying him. It was crazy. 